Uh, we use a hand tracking device, um, like to, and I'm, I can like grab the Play-Doh, a virtual Play-Doh, and I can pad it a bit. I can like add a roller to flatten it out. Actually, I can use two hand, but it's a bit tricky right now to like manipulate. But um, you try to fold it over, like with my hand. Oh. It's I have to admit, it's very tricky to manipulate without tactile feedback. And yeah, so here and I can like use a different tool to shop it to piece and. Basically, you can do a lot of deformation with it. Like, let me reset. I can chop it, maybe slice it to a thin piece that if I could, like, like that. It's quite fun. So, um, under the hood, um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so. Under the hood, we have a particle-based uh, simulation, right? As shown in blue particle here, and uh, particle are linked by a shape-matching cluster, um, like shown in circle here. And during the simulation, the deformation get transferred to the triangle mesh, as shown in Y-frame here, and. During runtime, like the particle get resampled. Let me switch to the Amadillo scene to make it a bit clearer. So, like you can see that the particle get resampled all the time. Um, like it can spread out, and so we need to perform some resampling to maintain stability. And also, so is the cluster. You can see that the, the cluster get like resampled. And we published a paper in Symposium on Computer Animation uh, this year to uh, discuss, explain how we achieved this. And also during the simulation, the topology can change, right? The mesh can split and merge, and we handle it with a, a method published in SIGGRAPH last year uh, to, to handle the topological change all in GPU. So. Um, the reason it had not been done before is because of the resampling and topological handling are quite tricky. And we hope that we can find some application of it in game and maybe for artists as an alternative modeling tool, maybe. Um, let me show you another scene. Um, this one's poor bunny. I can pull his. I can add a dough, like play dough, and I can hit his head a bit as well. I can choose a different type of uh, projectile. <laughs> okay, another scene, um, lion. So I can pinch off his tail, trying to uh, like, like flatten it a bit, or like uh, chopping it. Let me reset. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, and you can imagine like some application or certain type of game may be able to do this like, uh, a bit more. Like. <laughs> All right, thank you very much for your attention.